Hey fam, what you know good? Am I nuts? That's good. Wait. <laughs> now, I might have been prompted on this release a while ago, but as you all know, you know, I've, I've been a little you know, disconnected from social media for a while. And this shit kind of caught me by surprise. I mean, my immediate reaction was... I, I, I. But then I saw the trailer and I was like... <laughs> Honestly, for half of the trailer, I almost forgot the story to Mob Psycho because it seemed like a romantic comedy by the beginning music, but I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked. Before I start the review, uh, I know adaptations are typically adapted from the source material, but these days you gotta go in open-minded. So in this review, I'm not particularly expecting everything to be the same, but I will point out things that are absent for no reason. One thing I found irritating about the show is that they made Mob less confident. I mean, less. Of course, in the anime and manga, he joins the fitness club to, to, you know, make gains to get Tsubomi, but it's slight embarrassing at this point. Big Phil! Big Phil! Sit down, Big Phil! So it starts off with them in the telepathy lab. My fuck, y'all, it's been a long time since I wrote this. <laughs> And I do remember the kids with the psychic powers, uh, specifically there being a girl, two brothers, and two other boys with uh, flame powers and uh, telepathy powers. But I don't know what the brothers are doing or why the girl is the one with the flame power. Seems like they didn't want the hassle of trying to do another character's hair. Hmm. They show the Scar team or whatever the fuck. And uh, Ichigo. <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember his name. <laughs> now we get introduced to Mob, but not in that icy way that the anime did. Okay, number one, this is an... This is a pretty decent example of what I was talking about by embarrassing. And number two, both of y'all just gonna act like she didn't almost crack her head? Uh, okay. And then they introduce Regan, where he's uh, helping the couple get rid of the ghost that's haunting their dreams. He calls Mob, and in the anime, this scene was a pretty good introduction to the main protagonist. <laughs> And this is how it was in the live action. Oh my god. There, there's no joke. I just, I mean, it was, it was eh. It was eh. So Regan has a talk with Mob after, and then they have the spoon bending thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that Ritsu? He said reading the script from his phone. Now, this part was weird because they mentioned that they're in high school, but in the show, they're middle schoolers. It, it, it don't really seem like a relevant change, but you know, fuck it. They also say something about Subomi telling them about his test scores because I guess she wants his parents to be familiar with a new daughter-in-law? I mean, like, honestly, why would I feel the need to tell my friend's parents they test scores before they came? Like, what? Huh? So we go back to school the next day and Mob is doing the usual. <laughs> You know how the usual involves being thirsty. <laughs> so 
So he tries to spark a conversation from that interaction they had. You remember that interaction, right? And fails like shit to talk to her. But then here comes Gary's ass. So after she gets done slurping up his achievements, her and Ritsu bounces. And we cut to Regan finna give Mans a massage. They talk about how Mob wants to change to pull hose. Then they show more of how Mob's a fuck up. Ugh, bitch. There was plenty of hallway, but aside from that, how hard did you thrust your shoulders walking just to push me down? Sit down, bitch! Then he finds the fitness club and... what? I understand if they were in middle school, because I don't know too many bodybuilders in 7th or 8th grade, let's be honest. But they said Ritsu was a freshman. So if these all the gains these 16 to 8 year old... What? 18 year old niggas making then they introduce crazy girl and mob stops in front of her weirdly while she's clearly promoting her club and this happens he a crackhead this is what actually happened hey guys check out my channel Soraya Thailand link in description <laughs> <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> I, I don't know how she caught him with that move, but now we in the telepathy club room where the girl properly introduces herself as So, so you're the president of a club by yourself? Another example of things getting left out for no fucking reason. In the anime, they had four members and needed five. That's where Mob came in. Two other members added to a club does still not make a club. I mean... So the student council president comes in and brings the fitness club and oh my god. Do you really have to be so dramatic? Like, when it's not even necessary or accurate. So he tells the fitness team he'll join in a very goofy way. <laughs> what the hell was you doing, my guy? What? So some dialogue passes. He passes out. They take him to Tome, who still uses the room because they don't give a fuck. Then he shows Tome he's uh, psychic, and they show the Scar team again, and that's pretty much it. For the most part, I guess I was amused. There were slight changes in the plot that were a little odd, but didn't steer me away entirely. My biggest issue was how the show was structured. Like I said, it felt more like a romantic comedy as opposed to a action drama. All in all, this is the first episode, so maybe it'll get better. I'm just not too interested in romantic comedies, but best believe if you guys want me to review one, I will for sure do that because I do like uh, live actions, but I will give it a 5 out of 10. So, tell me if I should continue this series or switch it up. If so, what's next? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe and also ring the bell because man's will for sure be more active on this channel this year. And with that being said, I love each and every one of y'all. Make sure y'all know good, stay good, and your man's will for sure talk to you later.